Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise Zeno. Today I'm going to take you through how you can create effective tables or a matrix of financial information. So this is perfect for financial reporting, in this case profit and loss uh, statement, because that, that's, what we're, that's the example we're going to be working on today. Now historically I've received so many requests for for uh, for examples like this. It's so common out there uh, for all people based in finance areas or accountancy firms, etc., or accountancy uh, functions. So I guess the, the key thing I want to tell you today is that it is so good to be able to run this reporting inside of Power BI. Power BI can produce this type of reporting, P&L statements, balance sheets, uh, prop, uh, other financial reporting, it can it can showcase these results in a really compelling way. Now, the example we're actually looking at here, this this was actually from an entire workshop that was members only, so it was, it was for enterprise DNA members, and it ran for about an hour and a half, and about, I think well over a hundred people came to the event live. Uh, and what I ran through was how you actually create this from scratch, like how do you actually take financial data, build it into a model and then showcase it in a compelling way with all of these other uh, advanced techniques to showcase information effectively. One of the one of those examples was um, within this matrix, you can see here that we're actually looking at a, a, a comparison. So we're comparing actuals versus something, right? Actuals versus, in this case, well, it's last year. But what you can also do within this table and why it's so good to do this in Power BI is you can dynamically change what you're actually showing inside a table. Really, this is actually a measure, but we're actually determining the measure in a dynamic way. Also, you can jump between time frames, which is again why um, you're doing this analysis in Power BI is so great. And you, you know, obviously, it's a bit a lot harder to do this inside of Excel, or at least showcase it in a compelling way in Excel. And the other amazing thing, and again, why this is so much better than doing this in Excel, is the way you can utilize the dynamic filtering inside of your model and so you can select different areas of your report and what that does is it actually then filters every other visual that you have inside of your report page or inside your Power BI model. So all of these things combined is, is really, really effective, right? Now, I'm not, I don't have time to go through everything because the session, uh, the member only session actually lasts for, it was well, it was over 90 minutes. Um, so there was a lot to cover. But what, what I do want to focus in on is just how you can build this table, how you can build this matrix to showcase financial information. If you do want to watch the entire workshop, uh, you can, you just have to become a member. Um, but if you want to have a look at all the other things that uh, you want to go have a look at uh, the particular workshop where it's located, uh, head to portal.enterprisedna.co and that's uh, where you go and find Enterprise DNA online. Uh, and you'll find it there inside one of the workshop series modules. And so if you want to access that, all you have to do is become uh, become a member. Okay, so now let's recreate. Let's recreate this table. And in doing so, I'm going to show you how, how we actually do it. Because there's a few things that natively don't uh, get created. And you need to make some adjustments, some different formats. Um, but you'll quickly see, you'll quickly see that you can now do very effective reporting just like this uh, for financial reports or balance sheets or cash flow statements, P&L statements, etc. You can do it inside of Power BI. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new page here and I'm going to create a matrix. Now we need to find all of our different filters, right? I'm just going to jump to the model quickly. You'll see here that we've got date filters at the top. We've also got financial categories. So I structured that in a lookup table and then this financial data table. Well, this is where all of the information, all of the results, right? So let's go and have a look at the table. So you see here for every single month, we have a result for each different entity. And it's, it's a pretty detailed table. It's about 15,000 rows of uh, information you'll see down the bottom here. Now we've got the matrix. Now what we need to do is we need to start filling in uh, the, uh, the or selecting the dimensions that we want inside our matrix. So I'm going to first of all grab my subcategory. So this is the breakdown of revenue and expenses, as you can see. Then I'm going to find my category, and then I'm going to also find this uh, this dimension here, which is financial statement list. So this actually breaks things down, uh, you know, line by line item, right? So really detailed. Then I've already got my uh, measures uh, created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into the values field. And you'll see here that you can actually stack measures one by one and next to each other. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I've got my dates field here. And I've got my financial quarters, which I've created. And I'm going to put those into the columns. 
So you'll see that we have this breakdown here, like this, right? But it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually show it all in one matrix or one, all in one table. Currently, we only have revenue and expenses. And if we wanted to go to the next level of the hierarchy, they're calling it here, we would need to then select the double arrow down and then select it again. And then you see here that you can actually jump between the three different dimensions you have inside of the rows area. Now, to me, this isn't good enough. This isn't good enough. What we want to see is we want to see everything stacked together, right? And so what you can do is you go back to your first um, part of the hierarchy and you see this uh, combined double arrow down, right? So what this does is it allows you to expand everything uh, all down one hierarchy, uh, all done down one level in the hierarchy. So if I select this, you'll see now that it all actually appears in the one. Uh, actually, this that's not everything. We need to do it twice in this case because what it does now is it it staggers. It goes uh, it goes through all of our different dimensions one by one, right? And it, and it actually indents them. And so you see this this is very common look in financial statements and financial reporting, right? So just like that we can already get a pretty reasonable looking matrix of all the information that we want. So you just need to make a few adjustments there. But I want to do one last one because you'll see here that I actually have them stacked right next to each other, not just indentation. I actually think it looks better like this where you have one, um, you have the subcategory, category, financial statement breakdown, all sort of side by side. In this case, it's actually I've, I've actually used a different dimension financial statement list, but it's the same thing. So how do you do it? So what you're going to do, select the matrix, head over to the format section, head into, I believe it is all row headers. Yeah, so row headers, right? And you'll see the stepped layout. So if you turn off the stepped layout, you'll see that it actually breaks it up and puts them side by side. You get all of the different uh, the, the headers of each of those different dimensions. And... I believe that this actually lays things out in a very chronological way, just like you probably would get in, say, an Excel uh, pivot table, but then you have all this additional functionality, right? Okay, so that's, that's basically all I wanted to show you. And look, there's so many applications to this, right? That's why I wanted to uh, I wanted to break it into one tutorial because you could use this across any type of information that you want to put into a matrix or a table. I mean, financial information is a perfect one, but there's many others that you could actually um, do it for as well. Many other different, yeah, you could do it for any type of information. And you'll see here that it's just a really effective way um, to be able to showcase it, but then also utilize all of the filtering ability that you have. You know, you could, you could even jump in here and multi-select, and then this is all going to flow down to other visualizations you have, um, and it can all be really well integrated into one report. Okay, so as a reminder, if you want to actually explore the entire, because I know there's a lot, out, a lot of you out there that are really into financial reporting, want to know how to do this in Power BI, well, um, if you become a member of Enterprise DNA, there's so much information, so much content available to you. Uh, you know, you can download this entire resource, you can watch the entire workshop. There's going to be way more workshops coming out just around financial reporting. Um, so, if you do want to be able to uh, attend and uh, and also be able to access all of these different resources and, and content, then then certainly explore membership is, is certainly uh, something that you'll benefit from. I'm very very confident in that. Okay, all the very best. Talk to you soon. Cheers. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.